Ah. It is fine. Sunshine. I miss you. Sunshine. That's what Sarah used to call me. There is a logical explanation for everything, Allison. Who's there? Well, I'll tell you what. You just give me a call whenever you want something, all right? Okay, guys. A joke is a joke, all right? Primus, Nembros, Samael, Amabiel, Dudapel, Petapel. Yeah, I know. I miss you too. Well, I'll talk to you later then. Okay, bye now. Sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. Must be a challenge keeping the faith over hundreds of kilometers. Oh, I'm doing all right so far, apart from the phone bills. I'm impressed. So am I. This happens every night. The man's a paragon of virtue. Yeah, but how long can a healthy bloke hold out? Do we have to talk about it? Come in. Hi, sorry I'm late. Got all the red lights. Amanda, thanks for coming. Michael. Okay, well, it's a simple procedure, so let's get to it, Chris. Okay, I have arranged for some of the smaller shareholders to transfer their shares to you two. These are your payment authorizations for Signature, just their two copies. Lordy, I've never had shares before. Do you really think our one or two percent will help? Could make all the difference. Right then. Is that it? Yep, for now. Okay, here's to it. And thanks to you three, I appreciate the support. Miss Burton, I don't speak easily, but then we're exploded. All right, all right, tell me what happened. Just come to class. Just a minute. What's this she business? The patient has a name. It's Morgana. We might not know much about it, but at least we know that. Morgana. Well, it looks like we'd better clean you up a bit. Just a few cuts and scratches. Mirrors have been known to smash before now, Mills. This mirror didn't smash, it's spontaneous. Think of it. Did you actually see it happen? Okay, I was, I was down by the bed, all right? And then the door started swinging backwards and forwards, so I came over here to have a look at what was happening. Oh, I turned around and I heard this crash. So, pick up the pieces. Attend to the cuts and settle it down for the night. <gasps> well, I don't see anyone else in here, Mills. But if you do, get them to give you a hand. Oh, Miss Burton, do it. What's up, Chris? Because I've seen a ghost. Worst, Daryl Nelson's back. What? I came in here last night. You're kidding? What a cheat. Tell me about it. What are you going to do? Good morning, everybody. Lovely morning it is, too. Sun is shining right up the back passage, as Aunt Daisy used to say. Have we got any further on identifying that patient? Well, we found out her name's Morgana. That's all. Did you hear about the lift doors last night? Yeah, Honey told me. <laughs> She's so spooky. Mm, Stuart seems pretty unfazed. <laughs> What's Stuart got to do with it? Well, he's the one that brought her in here in the first place. Oh, Lord. Oh, Kirsty, have you compiled that list of paying patients yet? I need to do a budget assessment as soon as possible. Right there with mail. Good, thank you. Hi. Got an appointment with Dr. Warner. Right, have you been here before? Yeah, don't you remember? With Neil. Maggie! <laughs> How are you? Oh, trundling along. Oh, and this is the baby. He's lovely. She. Siobhan. Oh, you're a bunny wee thing. Hello. How's Neil? Oh, he's fine. Last time Maggie in here, her new part... Sperm donor, actually. He's gay. Well, they had this bed. Neil had to wear padding to prove that he understood what it felt like to be pregnant. He looked fantastic. <laughs> yeah, especially when he sprained his ankle because he couldn't see where he was putting his feet. <laughs> this woman is really strange. There's like an aura of weirdness about her. 
Marge, Louise has got one of those. It's like she's really psychic. Yeah, but be, I bet she doesn't go around exploding mirrors. No, but she does make the lights flicker. One year at Christmas time, she fused all the lights on the Christmas tree just by looking at them. By the way, when are you going to congratulate me on my ownership of this establishment? Oh, yeah. Gina, I'm so proud of you. Eh? Okay, and now you can vote on the decor. Old Venice or Arizona? Vote Arizona and you never get to eat in here again, okay? Okay. I kind of like the old Arizona. Can I help you, sir? Hello. Daryl. Hi. Cappuccino, thanks. Sure. Steve. Can I get you anything else first? Um, no, thank you. There's a kind of really bad smell in here, Gina. She cries the whole time. I'm scared she's not getting enough milk. Is she feeding regularly? Yeah. And what about afterwards? Does she fall asleep or does she just keep crying? Only time she does drop off. Wish I could do the same. Have you got cracked or sore nipples? That can sometimes add to the stress. No. I think she's got a little bit of colic. Sometimes if they drink too fast, they can swallow air and it gives them cramp. And just be careful winding her and um, try to get a bit of rest yourself. Maybe I should take something to help me sleep. A glass of warm milk in a hot bath usually works just as well. Has the Plunkett nurse been around to see you? Yeah. I'll send her away. I don't need her. Well, maybe you should give her a call. The first few weeks are the hardest. Excuse me, Dr. Warner, but you wanted an exam room one. Thanks. Uh, if there's no improvement by tomorrow, I'd like to see her again. Okay. Hi. Oh, aren't you the most perfect little pumpkin? How are you doing? Oh, busy. Oh, I bet. It's so tough when they're young. What's her name? Siobhan. Are you making your mum's life a misery, Siobhan? I bet you're not. It's a full-time job, all right. With overtime. Oh. Not so fast, Joe. What were you doing in there? <laughs> Visiting. What do you think you're up to? Nothing. Why? I hope you're not mucking around with the supernatural. Mum, what are you talking about? I'm not as green as I am, cabbage-looking, Stuart. I am talking about that person Look, you brought in. Look, I don't in. even know Morgana, OK? I brought her in here because she was hurt, all right? Oh. Can I go now? You want to hear the good news? I got your job back. Jenny's agreed that you can come back as long as you pull your socks up. Thanks. I'm not interested. The man's a dog. He should be kept on a leash. Yeah, well, I'm trying not to let him get to me. I could rearrange his face for you if you like. I need to give him more power that way. I don't think you're being really courageous, Kirsty. I'm just trying to focus on the positive things in my life. Speak of the devil. Can I help you? You can. I'd like an appointment to see Sir Bruce, please. I'll take over here, Kirsty, if you like. I can manage, thank you. Um, I suggest you make an appointment with Jenny, first floor. So you both actually bought shares? Yeah. Some of us are pretty concerned about what's happening around here. Michael's dismissal in particular. And since you're our rep on the board, we'd like you to organise a special general meeting. Well, you're perfectly entitled to call an SGM, of course. I'm just curious as to what you think it'll achieve. Well, the decision to dump Michael hasn't been ratified by the small shareholders, basically. We want our say. Fine. I'll get back to you. Good. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Hello, Jenny. Daryl, what can I do for you? You can do me an appointment with Sir Bruce, please. There's no chance of seeing him until later in the week. Fine. OK, I'll check with him and uh, give you a call. You at Marge's? Yeah. Bye. Thank you. You're a mate. How's that strange woman, Dr. Robson? Uh, what strange woman would that be, Marge? Oh, you know, the one everyone's talking about. The uh, supernatural one. You heard about the mirror, didn't you? Yes, I did. Do you think she's a witch or something? I've just been reading this article 
about devil worshippers. You know, she could be lying in that bed putting the voodoo on us all. Well, she's not. And leave it, Marge. The patient is none of your business. Uh, but I... You heard me. Got time for a coffee, Mum? I certainly have. And Mr Kent has been rescheduled for tomorrow. Got the hernia repair right. Business seems to be picking up. Mm, thank goodness. Good to see Maggie again with the baby. Is all well there? Uh, she's pretty tired and the baby has a touch of colic, but uh, I mean, she'll be all right. Is that it? Yeah, thanks. Oh, Chris. Yes, ma'am? Some of us are wondering about Dr McKenna. Are there any developments? Yes and no. There are things happening, but uh, I can't tell you what. You think I can do? Yep. Cross your fingers. And they've just bought these shares, have they? So it seems. Fascinating. They want an SGM as soon as possible. Hmm. As small shareholders, they are within their rights. Yes, I know. I think it'd be politic to keep them happy. All right, go ahead then. We know Sturgis is on our side. McKenna can't vote. I think I know where you stand. However, a few phone calls to some of the other shareholders wouldn't go amiss. I'll get on to it right now. Sir Bruce, with all due respect, they may find a call from the boss a little bit intimidating. Well, I'm their rep. Why don't I do it? Fine by me. You're trying to tell an Italian how to make coffee. It's like trying to tell an Eskimo how to fry ice. Gina, listen. No, you listen. I was practically born with a coffee bean in my mouth. OK, OK, but this coffee is weak. <clears throat> right, OK, so it's weak. But you know what that means? We need better beans. And you know what that means? More expense. Think about it. I blame that blasted motorbike. Mm. I mean, first he disappears, and now he's picking up strange women and bringing them into the clinic. Oh, this is the uh, Satan slave woman, is it? Don't try and make fun, Daryl. For all I know, she might be trying to entice him into one of her cults. Heaven knows he's spending enough time with her. I practically crawled over broken glass to get him his job back. And mm. what does he do? Turns around and says, I don't want it. <laughs> oh, he's under some kind of influence. You might be right, Mum. I think I'll have a word with Father Rigby. Oh, that's a good idea. And you should tell him that Stuart might be bewitched. So, you are now looking at a baby shareholder. Uh, this wouldn't have anything to do with my best brother, would it? Maybe, maybe not. But I am concerned about the clinic's future, that's for sure. Mm, aren't we all? Oh, wait up, Warner. What are you doing tonight? These. How about a quick drink at my place? Look, I'll let you know at the end of the day. I may have to work late. Guy, this is getting crazy. Take a night off. I never see you. Guy, I want a reception, please. Guy, I want a reception. Oh. Blame the system. I'm sorry, Dr. Warner isn't available now. It's all right, as long as I can talk to someone. That social worker chap sounds all right. Chris, to you, Paige. Guy, this is Neil. Hi. Neil's a friend of a patient Chris just saw. He wanted to see Chris, but he's unavailable. I was wondering if you were free. Sure, um, as long as we're talking about social work here. Yes. Good. I'd hate you to think I was just a doctor. Come through. Here's your receipt, Alan. Thanks very much. Hi, can I help you? I've come to see Marge. Oh, Father Ruby. That was quick. Be all right for ten minutes? Fine. Good. I know, Maggie. I could tell from what she said when she got back that she didn't tell Dr. Warner everything. He probably didn't even twig. See, she's so used to being in control, and when she's with people that don't know her, she puts on this big act, and they think she's fine. She won't talk to anyone about it. She'd hardly talk to me at the moment. And you two are good mates. We have been for years. But now she won't let me anywhere near the baby. Has she been depressed and weepy? All the time. She's completely wrung out. She needs to sleep, but it's like she's scared to. And she's been like this since Siobhan's birth? Yeah. She's got heaps of friends who'll help with the babysitting and shopping and stuff, but she won't let any of us help. Have you tried to talk to her about this at all? She won't. She just clams up. I tried to get her to let me clean the house, right? It's, it's total chaos, but she wouldn't. She's not eating properly. And the only thing she's let me do since Siobhan's been born is look after the shop. I feel so useless. Was it a straightforward birth? Well, it should have been. It was all planned. It was a home birth. She ended up having to go into hospital for a caesarean. My theory is she thinks she's failed. Do you think I'm overreacting? No, not by the sound of it. I tell you what, I'll have a word with Dr Warner. We'll see what we can sort out. Thank you. That's great. 
Thanks so much for coming in, Father. I know you're very busy. Well, it's not a problem. It's been a while since we had a talk. That boy, he's in there again with her. Well, I've had enough of this. Look, there's no harm in what they're doing. Leave him. But that's her, Father. I'm going in. Come on. Out. Hello, Stuart. What do you want? I want you out of here, away from her. Well, I'm not doing any harm, for God's sake. Stuart! Come on, she's got no visitors. I'm the only one that knows she's here. How would you feel if it was you? Let's just leave them to it, eh, Marge? Come on. No! In the name I, in the name Saray, in the name Prima Matum. In the name I, in the name Saray, in the name Prima Matum. What the hell's going on in here? What were you doing in the ward in the first place? And what the hell was that priest doing in there? Look, when I told you that patient was none of your business, Marge, I meant it. I just worried about Stuart. Well, Stuart's fine. At least he's doing something useful, keeping her company. Where's all your religious compassion, or doesn't it apply to the sick, Marge? I'm just going to take my break now. Hi. It's Dr. Ropater about. Yeah, that's me. G'day. I'm Mark, and I'm the psych services. This is Jeanette. Good, you're here to see Morgana? Yeah. Uh, nurse, can you take them through to the patient in Ward 3? I'll be there in a minute. I'll just grab their file. Those are psychos, eh? Yeah. What do you do? Can't say I'd be sorry to see the end of Morgana. Well, how about keeping your opinions to yourself, eh? Do something useful. Find her file. <sighs> what, you got a problem with that? Huh? Yeah, I hate to tell you this. What? Your patient's disappeared. There's nobody in the ward. Is everything okay out front? I heard raised voices. Oh, it was Hone. Oh, I won't ask. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. He was having a go at Marge, not me. Oh, not Hone. Daryl. He was in earlier. You must have seen him. Yeah. It was a bit of a shock. I bet. I certainly wasn't expecting him back. I don't think Marge was either. No. If you need someone to talk to, Kirsty. No, I'll be okay. I'm, I feel a heap stronger now. Everyone seems to be on my side this time. <laughs> so they should be. Thanks, so. though. That's what friends are for. I've been asked to arrange a special general meeting for the small shareholders tomorrow afternoon. Would you be available to take the minutes? Is this anything to do with Dr McKenna? Yes, they're concerned about his dismissal. Okay, well, I'll arrange it with Marge and um, you let me know the time. Thanks. Any sign of her? Vanished into thin air. She's not in the car park or the coffee shop. So ring the police. No, hang on a while. I might have some contacts for her at work. You know my guy? Yeah, we've had him in the psych unit a couple of times. Can I use the phone? Yeah. Yeah, come on through. Ah, oh, can I help you? I'm not sure. This is a bit of a long shot, really, but you wouldn't have a patient in here called Morgana, would you? Well, yes, we have. Are uh, you family? Uh, not exactly. A friend? I'm a member of the same coven as Morgana. I see. With all due respect, you probably don't. We might be witches, but we don't jump around on broomsticks in the middle of the night or anything like that. And Morgana? A couple of days ago, she transgressed the boundaries. Broke our rules, basically. She was expelled from the coven, and we haven't seen her since. Well, one of our staff members found her wandering around in a bit of a daze. She's pretty disturbed and still is. Just before you got here, she disappeared. Sounds like Morgana. Have you got an address? Yes. And if she's not there, I think I might know where she is. Good. Marge, grab the details. I'm just going to see the site people. I wasn't aware that I'd referred Maggie to you. Or Neil, for that matter. Don't pull that one, Chris. Neil came to see you. You weren't available, so I saw him, all right? He's concerned. He thinks Maggie's suffering postnatal depression. <laughs> Is she indeed? And, of course, he's the expert on that. Come on, Chris. He's known her for ages. And normally she's on top of things. He thinks she's losing control. Neil is the type to get into a flap over nothing. What? You mean because he's gay? Well, that sounds like homophobic rubbish to me. If Maggie was feeling so bad, why didn't she tell me? That's the whole point. She's not telling anyone anything. I think we should listen to Neil. And I think that you should stick to social work and leave the big boy stuff to me. Don't you? Ooh, sooner Melanie gets back, the better. And what is that supposed to mean? Well, if you didn't know, babe, I'm not telling you. Testosterone. Yes, I understand what you're saying, Mrs. Snow, but... Yes, that's right. 
Well, thank you very much for your time, Mrs. Snow, and I'll see you at the meeting tomorrow. Bye. I'm not saying another word to anyone about this in the business. I'm sick and tired of being badgered. I don't understand. Who's doing the badgering? Two guesses. Well, someone's got to them. That's the third or fourth to say they're not committing themselves before the meeting. All this politicking, what if we fall flat on our faces? We won't. Well, how can you be so sure? I can't. Let's just say I've got the odd ace up my sleeve. You'll find out. Oh, what about Jenny? What about her? Well, do we know which way she'll swing? <sighs> Our way. We've worked together long enough. It's got to count. And you and Michael have always been uh, enemies? Well, yes. I never forget what he did to my father. He was a fine surgeon, I believe. Yes, he was. Until McKenna drove him into the ground. He challenged his research. Accused him of distorting the facts, he ruined him. I've seen that side of Michael. Yes, I'm sure you have. You two have worked together a long time. Mm. You don't regret the changing of the guard, then? I've been more challenged in the last few days than I have in years. <laughs> Michael needs his head red. He didn't recognise quality when he saw it. Oh, that's very kind of you. No, no, I mean it, Jenny. McKenna was a lucky man. I just hope you plan to stay on. I do. This clinic means a lot to me. And I'm enjoying the extra responsibilities. Good. Oh, that's good. And I'll tell you something else. Clinic or no clinic, you'll always have a place with me. Thank you. To us. Is it you or is it me? Lately I've been lost, it seems I think the change is what I need. If I'm looking for a chance for the dream, showing that it's true. Taking down the whole my place, yesterday's another place, just living for the times we've seen. When the writing on the wall says I'll be. Shortland Street was made with the help of your broadcasting fee so you can see more of New Zealand on air.